They say that home is where the heart is, and if Kevin Phillips is to continue the revival here at AFC File, the Mill Farm Stadium has to become a fortress. The new boss found his first win since arriving here this month in midweek, and the message before his first league outing on home soil as AFC File boss today has been all about avoiding complacency against an ultra-home outfit that have lost just once in their last seven in the Vanarama National League. It's three big points. for the far post, oh it's exceptional outrageous with Theo Richardson left rooted to the spot and inside five minutes the visitors have the breakthrough and Regan Lilly continues to run riot through Vanarama National League defences well, you can see here Moody just picks up a lovely little pocket and what Lilly will do is a willing runner but he's got quality as well from that position, you think it's probably not on to shoot. You maybe look for a pass, but he backs himself. He knows his own quality, and he just bends out. You can see the way that they're moving the ball. You know, everyone's getting a touch. Everyone's happy to to make themselves available, and it just makes for a difficult evening for Farke. Very composed, and then he goes again. It's an almost carbon copy. Not quite as difficult an angle, but the same sort of finish from Regan Liddy who just guides it into the fourth corner once again with the instep. And inside ten minutes, Altenham are 2 0 up with two sensational strikes from their superb centre forward. Well, I don't think they could have had a worse ten minute start to this game. Again, Vivian Lilly is allowed at least six or seven yards to be able to take a good first touch set himself and then bend it into the corner. Rama National League waiting in the wings. It's interesting they said that Nick Horton is going to have to show that he can work hard in training to get his starting spot back. Liddy going for the hat-trick. Well, he's certainly got his sight set when he cuts in onto that right boot from almost any angle at this point. Regan Liddy almost with a hat-trick inside 15 minutes here. Well, I'm so confused that they're defending from Fylde here. At no point does anyone want to go and make a tackle. It's so passive, it's incredible. He wants it on the right boot rather than the left. Inside to Evans instead, just can't find a gap. It all gets very smothered and congested from the top of the 18-yard box. Linney could try and be away here and get the right touch and the right piece of possession. Lovely little one-two. Newby and Linney combining, more arriving banks to support. Linney for the hat-trick. 3-0 before half-time, three goals for Regan Linney. The onslaught continues, a devastating counter-attack as AFC Far were just starting to find their feet in this one. Olchenham punished them before half-time and this game could be done and dusted before it's even got going tonight. Linney is the man and the leader of that front line and a superb opening 45 minutes for the number nine. Well, we said at the beginning of the game that Linney and Newby, the two remainders from that magnificent trio of last season, have done all the damage. But the fact that Fylde allow them to just play one-two after one-two, and just they're, they're two v you know three v two, but they each time they've got enough time and enough space to be able to just pick out your pass. Nobody tracks the run of Linny. He just pulls away to the far post. Newby's got the awareness and the quality of Altrincham. That's what you have to do. You have to allow the ball to be able to move quickly and then pick up your positions from there. At the moment... Oh, might be a chance here for Newby in behind. is falling kindly for him. Superb. Absolutely superb from an Altrincham attack that just can't be stopped tonight. But the quality of the finish from Alex Newby highlighting the quality that both he and Regan Linney have brought this evening under the lights in front of the cameras and put on show for everybody at the zone to see. Well, this just sums up Fylde. Alex Newby runs from the centre of the pitch, absolutely nobody with him. Richardson ends up in no man's land and he just has the simple task of just lifting it up and over Richardson into an empty net. That's it. Now, Horton just finding his stride and almost looking for that far corner as it's hit by Mitchell on the follow-up, but he can't find the target. Well, they've probably been two of their better players. 
Mick Horan's only been on the pitch for 10 minutes and he's already created more than, than Fowl did in that first half. But it's the defensive frailties for me. You know, it's the passiveness, it's the lack of desire, it's the lack of leadership in this Fowl team that has been evident today. Lovely little run from Horan, just drops the shoulder. The shot's not the greatest, but at least... He Superb here last season. He's continuing that trend into this campaign. Oh, and Linny's in here. It could be five. It's a very good save in the end by Richardson, but you have to say that Regan Linny will be disappointed. He's not beaten the keeper. He has to be considered in the chasing pack for the playoffs once again for a second straight season in this division. And there you see it. Perhaps a chance to go to the English Football League. It's neatly worked. Linny trying to guide it across goal. Redding was the closest one to it and it was an important touch to steer it away from him just put off his run darting onto that ball well Redden will be kicking himself because he should have been on that far post and he knows he left he is just moving at Elias Osborne away from the situation very close you've got to get it put over the wall and down again or use raw power to blast it through Nuttall wasn't far away Always looked like it was just about going over. Still ever so close from the centre forward. Given away, a dangerous part. Osborne, that's five. It couldn't get much worse for AFC Fylde this evening. Decimated defensively, decimated on the score sheet. And Elliot Osborne, whose last goal came on January the 1st this year, this one to see out the 2024 calendar season that came to win so simply. Osborne just picking off possession and tucking it away. Yeah, well, that, that goal just sums up far for me. But what I'll say is, let's talk about the good work from Altingham. Even though they're four goals up, they're still going and pressing. They're forcing okay. against teams in and around us. You know, Altingham, I think, have got higher aspirations. Shot takes a deflection and it's tipped away by Ethan Ross as a rare chance to put some pressure on the goalkeeper of Altrincham tonight. Did well dealing with the ricochet too. What oh, a great effort, you've got to say. Ethan Ross has had nothing to do with This will surely be the last act of a dreary night tonight. It flashes across goal, wide of the target and the full-time whistle is blown. Well, it wasn't a magnificent seven, seven, it wasn't a sensational six, but it's five of the best for Oldham tonight as they have dismantled AFC Fylde as Kevin Phillips' side continue to fall short defensively under his tutelage this season. A first half hat trick for Regan Linney, all but killing the game off before half time. And that was added to in the second period by strikes from Alex Newby and substitute Elliot Osborne. The two stars for Altrincham tonight, shining the brightest under the lights and in front of the cameras. And it's a match ball for Linney, an important three points for Phil Parkinson and his side, sending the travelling support home more than happy and elated with their night's work. It finishes here, filed nil, Altrincham five.